at Photo Gear. I know I look a little ridiculous, but that's okay. I don't mind. This is not about me. It's about the pets. And uh, if I'm not going to win any style awards, well, at least I'll get some good photos, or at least that's the, the hope. So I'm going to go through each item of my getup one at a time and show you why I look like this. <clears throat> Bed stew boots, fashionable, functional, great for those muddy locations. With pet photography, you are on your knees a lot if you're doing it right. And so I, I like these little lift knee pads. Um, they don't look very good, but they feel oh so good. Canon 8 to 15 millimeter f4 zoom fisheye. This is my go to lens for those distorted cute, lovable dog shots where the nose is huge and the body is small. Great lens. The imaginary Canon 35mm f1.4. It's on my camera, so you'll have to imagine it. The go-to prime lens for pet photography. I love it. It's pretty much what I shoot with almost always. Tamron 200 to 500 millimeter super zoom F, I don't know, tons. Not the best lens in the world, let's be honest, but does the job. I love it for action shots. And uh, I got it used, I don't know, four or five hundred dollars. You know, there are better lenses out there, but this does the job and I like it. Dog treat of choice Greenies pill pockets. They are made to put pills in doggies. That is not what I use them for. I like these because they are not too greasy and yet easy to break apart. Whoa, here we go. Into little pieces. And you know, your hands don't have the residue that some, some things that are easy to break apart do. And dogs love them that I've, I've found anyway. So those are my favorites. Cheapo flash, I don't even know, young Noah something. I just get cheap speed lights because I go through them. I drop these things all the time. So this is backup in case my continuous light fails me, which it has before. So yeah, uh, you can see what it is. I don't even know, I don't care. I just get these used off of Craigslist or wherever. Also cheap, little young Nuo remote flash thinger. Again, I drop these suckers all the time, so I gotta get me the cheap crap. These work great, never had them go bad except when I dropped them and smashed them into smithereens. I'd recommend them. $20 or so, eh, Amazon, whatever. All right, lanyard. This is probably the silliest part of my setup, but this is one of the most important things in pet photography. This is a hunter's lanyard I got on Amazon. It smells really bad. Didn't know that when I bought it, but it's functional. I've got a lot of animal calls and of course, kazoos and whistles. Um, this thing's awesome and it's uh, a lifesaver with, with pet photography. I forgot it one time and really regretted it. Um, this is my favorite one. It's the chickmunk call. You don't blow in it, you actually squeeze it and let go. That's awesome because when you're holding a camera, kind of got it like there, and that animal's gonna look right at you. Um, I also like this one. I don't even remember what call this is. But it makes some cool sounds. Duck call. Anyway, yeah, and various other things. I love these things. I only use any given item maybe like three or four times in a shoot because after that it just stops working. So I use them very, very sparingly and right at key moments when I really need the dog to look at me. And it works really well but only a few times. So um, yeah, I, other than that, I rely on my weird voice to get their attention. All right, while I'm on my chest area, let me talk about the, uh, talk about the backpack in a minute. Let me get rid of this lanyard. This, uh, 
On the strap, I've got the Peak Design um, kind of lens switcher thing. This thing is rad. I can stick a lens on it and yeah, switch it around. Stick the lens on it and it'll just stay there. Um, this is also awesome. This is the, I always forget the name of it. Uh, here it is right here. And Hazard 4 is the most amazing shoulder bag I've ever used. I used to use a backpack and then one time I put it down because you know, you always have to put the stupid backpack down to get stuff out of it. Put it down, sprinklers went off. Luckily, none of my gear was ruined. But this thing is rad. It never gets off my shoulder throughout the whole shoot. Everything I need is right here. Batteries, light modifiers, flashes, lenses, everything goes here. And when I need it, I can just spin it around and I'm ready. And actually, a lot of times I'll just keep it right here and I'll use this for stability and shooting. Works really well. And yep, I look like a goober, but that's okay. Um, finally, the last beauty in my arsenal. Well, two things. I use the three-legged thing. The small one, this is the two-stager. That doesn't go very high, but I don't need it to because I'm shooting pets who are short. And the Yang Nuo, um, what is this? The YN600L uh, LED panel, which is awesome. Puts out a lot of really good light, illuminates my animal, and I can set it down wherever I need to. I actually usually have a bag of treats hanging from this also that I can grab and, and have it available so I'm not, and not everything is on me. That helps. So anyway, that's my pet photography setup. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. You have to look bad to take good pictures.